Back in Germany, now in Munich, I would enter the world of culinary art. Kafers was famous for three things. Fine dining in individually decorated separates, catering for intimate gatherings or formal receptions, and of course, Oktoberfest. Instead of a tent, they'd put up a solid blockhouse every year. Gerd Käfer himself overlooked every operation and was an admired host. This apprenticeship was government supervised and Der Junge Koch was our Bible. They said, if you know what's in this book, you should be fine. I knew no more weaseling myself through the system with special privileges anymore. This would be a totally different kettle of fish. I shared an apartment with my brother who studied economics at the University of Munich at the time, together with his buddy Batty. Students, just like today, adhered to a more relaxed lifestyle. A local radio station at the time would open their lunchtime program with Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning to our students. They'd also introduce me to Munich's best hangouts, Charles Schumann's American Bar, and to where the music was hot. We'd dress up, enjoy life, Batty knew how to impress in the streets, and I had set my eyes on someone special. In other words, I would have my plate full for the next two years. They started me out in catering, which I loved. We knew exactly what, how much, where, and when. That is where I met Michael from Cologne, a showman just like me, hard worker, but a great sense of humor. We enjoyed setting up for the 1982 Formula One party in Frankfurt, and on our days off, we'd chase phone numbers après ski. Later in life, he'd open up his own restaurant and catering business in Cologne. My biggest accomplishment as an apprentice in the catering department was a garden party for the editor of Burda magazine with some 30 guests. I was the only chef and fully responsible. Oktoberfest was a completely different animal. 17 days and nights straight, 10 to 12 hours each. While guests enjoyed the festivities in Lederhosen and Dirndl, often not knowing what to choose, I either stuffed cold birds, roasted hundreds of them, or plated them with knödel and blaukraut. Potato Rosti was another station I worked at for hours at the time. While our guests celebrated and enjoyed a chilled Käferstein, I was exhausted after my sweaty shift and needed to hydrate every day after work. Many reasons and always bottoms up. Total exhaustion post reason was to be expected, but Mr. Kafer looked after us workers generously. The most challenging environment, however, was the restaurant kitchen. Some 300 gourmet meals served per night from a menu with over 40 items. Everything was prepared a la minute and a table of six or eight with all different orders was not unusual. My highest respect goes to the line chefs in this position. Us apprentices didn't really get to practice during the main service. So Fritz and I were parked in the prep room deboning fish or slicing cutlets. Working slowly, we enjoyed a beer or two, discussing literature like Hermann Hesse's Siddhartha or the picture of Dorian Gray. After 9.30, when things slowed down and the evening paper came in for the chefs to take a break, us apprentices would be able to prepare a couple of meals. The result was often substandard. Head chef Sondheimer said, price number, you'll never make it in this business. What can I say? I mean, technically, he was right. The official chef's examination had a written, a practical, and a verbal component. Going in, I had excellent school records and passed the written test. The miracle happened when I was assigned my practical test, canopy variations for six people. The expectation was something like this. But Kafers being specialized in that field, I was able to produce this and this. The expert observers were more than impressed. A strike of luck, for sure. But once I'd have to sit in front of an expert panel of three for the verbal test, 
they'd probably find out how shallow my knowledge really was, I thought. Their first question was about the parts of a meat grinder. That I knew. And since raw meat has something to do with cleanliness, I just kept on going with everything I knew about hygiene and cleaning procedures. I just wouldn't give them a chance to ask another question. After five minutes and them having witnessed my practical abilities earlier, they'd compliment me and that was it. Result? I passed with straight A's and was awarded a special recognition from the Ministry of Education. The school head chef called the kitchen office at Kafers to congratulate my employer. And guess who picked up the phone? Confidently and pretty full of myself, I went back to work, making sure to pass the restaurant kitchen, giving Mr. Sondheimer a warm smile. Goodbye, Munich. What a great time. Now I had the qualification to study hotel management at the prestigious Heidelberg Catering College.